At the 45th session of the World Heritage Committee, the cultural landscape of old tea forests of the Jingmai Mountain in Pu'er was successfully in its bid to be selected for the World Heritage List. That brings the total number of the World Heritage Sites in China to 57. Of these 57, 5 sites are in Sichuan. Besides the above 5 treasures already included in a World Heritage List, 4 items in Sichuan have also been listed on China's World Cultural Heritage Tentative List by the National Cultural Heritage Administration. Well, what are these 4 standbys? Standby number 1. Sites for Liquor Making in China the sites for liquor making in China are an integral part of Chinese Baijiu's cultural heritage, boasting the largest scale and a long lasting liquor making space in Asia from the 13th century AD to now. As the valuable relics and sites preserved for posterity by liquor makers throughout the ages during the course of their work, they reflect the makers' lives and the liquor making processes of different periods forming a cultural landscape that showcases outstanding human handcrafts as well as representing a unique demonstration of the development of the world's liquor culture. Standby number 2. Archaeological Sites of the Ancient Shu State How did you first learn about the ancient Shu State? Was it the mysterious large bronze mask unearthed at the Sanxingdui site, or the sun and the mortal bird gold ornament from the Jinsha site that shows such superb craftsmanship? Somewhere between 4,000 and 2,000 years ago, the people of the ancient Shu state established their own state and it developed the ancient Shu civilization that was closely related to the Central Plain civilization, while also having its own distinct characteristics. The implementation of archaeological work across sites such as the Sanxingdui site, Jinsha site, and the joint tombs of boat shaped coffins of ancient Shu state has unveiled a unique window through which we can better understand the ancient Shu civilization. Standby number 3 Diao Lao buildings and villages for Tibetan and Qiang ethnic groups. As a cultural landscape of agricultural settlements located upon the western Sichuan Plateau regions, the Diaolo buildings and the villages for Tibetan and the Qiang ethnic groups are important components of Chinese diverse ethnicities. Throughout their long-standing history, generations of the Tibetan and the Qiang ethnic minorities have lived and flourished on the western Sichuan Plateau. The Diaolo buildings and villages for Tibetan and the Qiang ethnic groups built by the native people there exist in harmony with the surrounding farmland, pastures, as well as towering mountains and deep gorges, reflecting a strong humanistic atmosphere with distinctive ethnic characteristics. Standby number 4, Shu Dao, Guangyuan section of Jinyo Road. In ancient times when transportation was far more inconvenient, the Shu Dao served as a significant transportation line connecting Chinese heartlands to two crucial places, Bashu and Guangzhou. Numerous major events in Chinese history, such as the annexation of Bashu by Qin, the establishment of the Western Han Dynasty, and the various disputes of the Three Kingdoms have successively taken place on and around the Shu Dao. Meanwhile, the ancient road also boasts the best preserved ancient Cypress forest passageway, which has become an important example of how the ancient Chinese civilization was able to reconstruct its environment for practical purposes. Come on for standbys! Best of luck making it onto the World Heritage List soon!